two years ago, my brother choked on a coin, then swallowed it. We had to get an x-ray scan to see where the coin was. And that got me thinking. How did we identify the coin inside his body? Well, x-rays can actually pass through solids. This is because x-rays fall under the electromagnetic spectrum and possess a high amount of energy. This is where the photoelectric effect steals the show. A photon, the smallest unit of electromagnetic energy, travels onto, let's say, a broken arm. Within our arms and bones, we have countless atoms. In the bones, the photon gets absorbed by an inner shell electron and the photoelectron gets ejected out of the shell. The key here, the photon gets completely absorbed, meaning the x-rays don't pass through the bones. This occurs because the atomic number of bones is pretty high, and the higher the atomic number, the more photons get absorbed. Skins and tissues' atomic numbers aren't high, so lesser photons get absorbed, meaning x-rays can still pass through them. In the film, the areas where the x-rays pass through appear dark while areas where they're absorbed, like the bone, stay lighter. Almost like how shadows work, except inverting the color scheme. Back to my brother. This play on atomic number is the reason the coin was visible. It was white on film because the photons had been absorbed by the electrons completely due to the coin's high atomic number.